So guys, just a bit, just a fight which I was thinking about. If Terence Crawford goes back down to 140 and faces Vasily Lomachenko, do you like that fight, or do you think it's a mismatch? Could Vasily Lomachenko beat Terence Crawford at 140 pounds? Could he? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Could Vasily Lomachenko... And a lot of you guys come at me when I do these fantasy matchups. Oh, it's not real. Guys, everything's realistic. You know, people were saying Sugar Ray Leonard to be Marvin Hagler wasn't a realistic fight. It happened. Everything can be realistic. You know, fights can happen. Fights that you don't think can happen could potentially happen. So don't get at me. I, I look at fights which I think can happen. Lomachenko's fighting at 135. Crawford was fighting at 140. Why couldn't that match be a match happen? Because Bob Arum doesn't want to put them two together because they're both his main guys. So he doesn't want one of them to lose. It's quite obvious. So he will say, oh no, Crawford's too big for Lomachenko. Nonsense. Nonsense. Lomachenko was too big for Rigondeau, but you put him in there with Rigondeau. Lomachenko is... So here's the thing. Is Lomachenko... <clears throat> answer this question. Is Lomachenko and all you Lomachenko fans that are going to come to the comment section. Answer this question. Isn't Lomachenko way bigger than Anue? Is Lomachenko more bigger than Anue is compared to how big Crawford is to Lomachenko? Right? But Bob Arum is very keen on making that fight. Right? He's telling Lomachenko can go back down to 126 and fight. But then he wouldn't want Lomachenko to move up five more pounds and Crawford to come down five pounds or seven pounds. Right when Crawford could definitely make 140, Crawford's not a big welterweight at all. He could make 140, right? If you pay him enough money, he'd make 140, no problem. <clears throat> but again, this is why promoters they talk a lot of nonsense because he, Bob Aaron wouldn't want to make that fight because he, what he would do is he'd be like I said, he'd be exposing one of his cash cows, one of his not I wouldn't even call them cash cows because. They're not exactly, they do huge pay-per-view numbers. So I'm saying that he'd be exposing one of his main fighters because one of them would lose. Um, but I think that's a fight that could definitely have happened. But I just think Bob Arum kept them away from each other um, and saying that, well, Crawford's, Crawford's too big for Lomachenko, this, that, this, that. When really Crawford fought at 135 Crawford fought at 140 I don't I don't think I think Crawford is bigger than Lomachenko for sure but I don't think I don't think it's a match which I don't think it's a, Lomachenko is that much smaller uh, than Crawford that it'll be a mismatch in the sense that you know we've never seen anything like that before let's not forget Amir Khan fought Canelo that was a mismatch in size but Khan did well in that fight Khan was outboxing Canelo for four five six rounds and no one thinks that Khan is as good as Lomachenko. So if if Khan could outbox Canelo, right, who was big and strong, who was way bigger than Khan, then why can't Lomachenko, who's a two-time gold medalist, in many Lomachenko's eyes, one of the greats, right, why can't he fight Crawford? I don't... I, 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 Listen, they normally say a good big man beats a good little man. But how good is Lomach? How good is this little man? This little man might be the greatest little man ever. So could he beat Crawford? And I actually think the fight's competitive. I, I would love to see it. I don't think it's as, as, as one-sided as people think. I think Lomachenko's got a good chin. And I think Lomachenko's naturally... I think Lomachenko is very skilled. I think he's naturally more skilled than Crawford. I rate him. I rate him higher than Crawford. And I don't think I don't think it's as big a mismatch as some people think. Is it a bigger mismatch than Khan Canelo? You guys leave your thoughts in the comment section, and that was seen as a mismatch. And look how well Khan did until he got stopped. So. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And Khan's not as good as Lomachenko. So, 
Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video.